where can you create more time? A, a simple question. But again, I know my my mind is weird with that. But that's that was literally my thought is I can go home and struggle through these habits or I can jump on the treadmill and just hammer them out. Win, 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 wins. The morning routine, I would argue, is even more important than the nighttime routine, although they're, they're both critical. When it comes to habits, the bookends, that's what this is called, the bookends of your day need to be sound. And it needs to be simple enough to where you can actually do it, but complex enough to where your brain registers it as important. Next Level Nation, welcome back to another very special, as always, episode of Next Level University, where we teach you how to level up your life, your love, your health, and your wealth. We hope you enjoyed our latest episode. It was episode number 1319, What Does Romance Mean to You? A very deep, hyperconscious episode. Today, for episode number 1320, a simple example of habit stacking. So I've been very open and honest about my struggles in the gym and my struggles with getting up early and all that stuff. So this kind of is paired with that. This morning I was in the gym. I got up at six o'clock. My alarm went off. I said, all right, let's do this. I got to the gym probably about 6.15, about 6, 6.15, 6.17, something around there that time. I go do my, and it, this is, let me, let me preface with this. Alan and I have talked many times about something working so darn well just works too well that you just stop doing it. I don't know if you you just forget about it, you get out of the groove, you take some time off, the law of familiarity creeps in, you just stop doing it. This is what I used to do. When I walked into the gym, I'd have my AirPods in and I'd be listening to a book. So th today, I went upstairs at the gym and I did my mobility and I listened to our podcast. Right? I want to review the podcast so I can check that box off. Review NLU. So from there, I do my 15 minutes of mobility, check that off. Okay, cool. 15. 15 minutes of mobility. Check that off. I go down stairs in the gym. I hit the bench press, hit chest. Monday, chest day. Awesome. Crank my workout up. Now, I'm looking at the clock, and I think it was at this point. 185 for 10, boss. 185 for 10. Clean. Still weak. <laughs> I'm weaker than I was, but I'm I'm on my way back. So I'm getting ready. as good to, as I once was. I'm not as good as, Taryn told me that song is about sex. I don't know if that's true or not. I got to do some research, <laughs> but it might be. It might be, and we might have said that on stage several times at Next Level Live. So I'm, can I speak? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm getting ready to leave the gym. And I said to myself, I really should do cardio because I'm cutting. I'm trying to lose weight. Taryn and I have a trip planned. We're going to Belgium in September for our one year anniversary and Taryn's birthday, which is awesome. And I'm like, all right, I should do cardio. I need to treat this like a bodybuilding show. I need to do cardio. And then I had this moment of, I don't have time. I do not have time to do cardio. There's other stuff I have to do. And I said, ah, wait. When I was the most effective version of myself, I would get on the treadmill after my workout and I would learn for 30 minutes if I didn't want to do it in the car. I would post on social media. There were like five tasks I could do on the treadmill while doing 15 to 30 minutes of cardio. So let me try that again. And I'm sure you've had these moments. I'm on the treadmill today and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I haven't been doing this every day. This is the best. I, I've already posted on social media. I've already built relationships with potential podcast clients. I'm connecting with the, the community. I posted in Next Level Nation. Awesome. This is amazing. That is a really good example of a powerful habit stack where I'm walking on the treadmill. There's no reason I can't post on social media. There's no reason I can't do all these simple things from my cell phone. The thing that's even more powerful for me is I had this moment where it was like, and I don't know, maybe you can speak to this more eloquently than I, but 15 minutes on the treadmill, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. 15 minutes on the treadmill is actually like 45 minutes of real life. Does that mean anything to you? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. Could you make it? But mean keep something? going. It was that. It was like fifteen minutes on the treadmill. I can get like six things done. Mm -hmm. When I go home, I'm not gonna like get into the office and put something on YouTube to learn. It's not. It doesn't make any sense for me. I not. Know. Not. I'm not saying it doesn't make any sense. It, from my perspective, it's like I'm just gonna sit here and watch YouTube for fifteen minutes to learn. There's got to be a better way for me to do that. So it's almost like. How, great question, 
if I was in the office, how long would it take me to post on social media if I got lost in the rabbit hole? Mm -hmm. 15, 20 minutes? Okay, let's chalk that up. So that in my mind, it's like if I just walk for 15 minutes and I do six things, that's like an hour in real life. <laughs> I, uh, and on top of all that, you're burning cows. <laughs> Habit stack. Uh, you know, you want to know why I was laughing? Kevin Please. was curious as to why I was laughing. I'm always curious to why you're laughing. When you talked about going to Belgium, yeah, I only could think of two things. Gold member? And this is, uh, yes. How did you know? No, no, not gold member. The second one. I don't know which one. The Spy Who Shagged Me, I think is the name of, of the film. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> yeah. Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. It's mm. the second one. And yeah. he has the milk on his mustache remember uh the starbucks scene where he's like that's how they drink it no, that's how they drink it in belgium i don't remember you have a better memory it's called I. a belgian dip belgium dip or whatever <laughs> i don't remember but yeah it did make me think of that the oh. other thing it made me think of is waffles yeah there are look waffles chocolate beer and they have there's like one other i think they're kind of known for their cheese as well but little known fact yeah yeah we're oh, trust me fries they're very known for their fries as well Belgium is like an hour from London or two hours from London. All you got to do is hop in the train. It takes you right to London. You hop in a train, it takes you right to France. So yeah. it's going to be a lot Fast of food. Train. But I need to be skinnier than I am by then. Which is why you're talking about the treadmill. Which is why I'm talking Habit about the stack. treadmill. Have a second. So that's why I was laughing. Just okay. wanted to share that. Appreciate so that. Kev, the treadmill, you were learning. Let's let's stack them real quick. Stack them. Let's, let's show the value. Okay, so you were burning calories. I was burning calories. You were learning. I was listening to the 16 undeniable laws of communication. Yep. Which, by the way, on, on an episode I reviewed today, oh boy, I said the 16 undeniable laws of growth on one of our episodes, even it's though I was good. referring to the laws of communication. But in, anyways, in your defense, they all do sound the same. They do, <laughs> they do sound very similar. In your defense. So you're burning calories, you're, li you're learning. Yep. You are also connecting with the community. Yep. You're also, what else did you connecting say? Connecting with potential NLPS clients. Yep. Posting. Connecting in, with potential clients. Posting, posting on social media. Posting in Next Level Nation. Posting po on social media. Posting on social media. Uh, Anything else? No. Answering WhatsApp messages? No, I don't want to do that there because I like to send audios. Yeah, true. Okay, so that's six things. That's a habit stack of six things. I got to keep my mouth on the mic here. Okay, um, now Kev, this is not a competition. Uh-huh. It is though. But I did prepare for this episode. Okay. And I need to preface this with the fact that my showers are only at most a half an hour. <laughs> yes, fair. Um, my showers are typically 20 minutes and they are the best habit stacking example that I have. Although I have done the treadmill as well. And yeah, man, it's, if you do like the Stairmaster, it doesn't work too hard because it's brutal too hard. Yeah. The treadmill walking, just put it on incline, like, so and did. then just walk it like three miles or whatever an hour. It's just the the reason I know I made it a joke and I'll, I'll let you go. I'm sorry to interrupt. I know I made it a joke, but it's almost like in that 15 minutes. Yeah. I'm quite literally all I'm going to be able to do is exercise. So I might as well try to post on social media. To me, that 15 minutes is actually an hour in real life. I'm not kidding. I mean, I genuinely mean that. Yeah. Just from Meaning the perspective you got an of, hour's worth of stuff done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just from the perspective of the productivity. Yeah. It's definitely fire. One thing that I would share is it's hard to learn for me while doing that stuff. Mm. I don't know how you do that. Personally, it's kind of like I could do all of that except for the learning. If I'm sending messages, I have trouble listening to a book while also yeah, messaging. Sure. Yeah. So so this is what, although I'm, this, this actually does work for me. So my showers are about 20 minutes long or less. Okay. So I'm prefacing that so people know I'm not just wasteful. I calculated out how many things that I do in the shower, particularly on Sundays, because I only do one of these on Sunday. Number one is I always brush my teeth in the shower. Mm. It's just a thing. My toothpaste is in there. My toothbrush is in there. It's just a habit stack. Um, I clean myself, obviously. That's what everyone does in the shower. Mm -hmm. uh, the third one is I learn. I always have my phone. I, today, it was The Art of Impossible, a book by Stephen Kotler. We've interviewed him. And that's on while I'm in the shower. Okay, so that's three. <clears throat> I have my mouthwash in there. So I also, I also, I also do my mouthwash. How many times do you mouthwash? Every time I shower. That's it. Once a day? Yeah, at I least. I saw some research. Talk I to told me. Taryn this. People who 
mouthwash twice a day are 50% higher likelihood to have diabetes. What? Mouthwash kills all the good bacteria in your mouth. It's a thing. I don't, I don't, again, look up the study and don't quote me on that if you're listening, but. Well, I guess it's a good thing that I don't keep it in that long because <laughs> I'm soft. It might be worth, you it know. might be worth researching. It's a fair assessment, but okay. So I do mouthwash every day, which apparently is going to give me diabetes. I'm kidding. Uh, number five is I actually floss. So I have those mm -hmm. flossers that look like a toothbrush. Those are great. By the way, I can't floss regularly anymore. <laughs> Just not nearly as useful. Yeah. yeah. Very difficult with Kevin's fat fangas. Definitely. That's what he calls them. Mm -hmm. I also, so I shave in the shower. Straight up. Same. Shave my face. You do? Mm -hmm. You have a mirror in there? Mm -hmm. Are you just doing it by? No, oh, I have a mirror. Tyron you have got a me mirror, a mirror in there too? Yeah. In the shower? Okay. I thought that was a me thing. So I shave, but I only do that on Sundays. I only have to shave once a week because <laughs> I have peach fuzz. I'm still hoping to hit puberty. Uh, and then the last one. I occasionally will stretch in the warm water, <laughs> I knew but that that's was while I'm doing the other stuff, you know? So I, that's a habit stack of seven things in one 20 minute session. And, uh, I do that at least once a day and I shave once a week. So, but there are certain places where it is important to habit stack and there's certain places where it's not. Um, another habit stack would be for some reason, I cannot do mobility without learning. Mm. It's just my brain is like, mm, waste of my time. So I do my NLU review while doing mobility as well. And what's another habit stack? There's a couple others. But the point is, is and this is the question that I had written down. Where are you habit stacking? And what's one area where you could habit stack as well? And I also want to think about that as well because I used to do the treadmill thing all the time. I don't do that anymore. I always walk. So I'll be walking Tucker and then I'll be learning as well. I always learn while I'm walking, but um, I did some of the treadmill stuff during Next Level Live. I was doing messages yeah. for that. But anyways. Hey, I wanted to give my experience working with Kevin and the rest of the Next Level University team. It has been such a seamless relationship. He is so easy to work with, Kevin, and he gives you all the information you need, but doesn't overwhelm you. He's also um, meets you where you're at. So whatever you want to do, he'll make it work. And it's just, there's no stress, there's no drama. And everybody else that I've worked with has been patient with me because I am not technologically savvy. So they've been helpful and patient and just encouraging and it's just been a fantastic experience i highly highly recommend working with them it, it was very alarming for me when i was like how was i getting so much done before i feel like i used to get so much done before i even got home i have this like not a mental block but this weird thing where i'll look at the clock and i'll be like all right it's seven o'clock i have a, my first calls in three hours my first calls at 10 i gotta go home and shower and it's like, I got to do, I got to check my WhatsApp messages. I got to do all these things. I can check my emails too. I think I checked my emails today on the treadmill. It's like, mm -hmm. that's easy enough. I can shoot an email back. Mm -hmm. Before I was doing that and I was so productive. And then I, what happened was I used to drive 15 minutes to the gym and I stopped doing that. So I lost my 30 minutes of learning right there. And I, I learned throughout the day, but that made it easy. And then I just think I forgot about it completely because in my mind, it's like home equals safe. Home equals productivity. Home equals, yeah, home equals starting the day. When in reality, it was very freeing to say, if I spend 15 minutes on the treadmill, when I get home, all I'm really gonna have to do is my WhatsApp, my what, my goodness, my WhatsApp messages. <laughs> Obviously, I gotta feed the cats and all that. I don't do yoga in the shower or anything yet. Maybe, <laughs> maybe in the future I will. I don't. Not. I haven't. I haven't gotten to I don't that either. <laughs> you funny man. I remember. That's Alan, why I had to preface it. Alan used to meditate in the shower. He's like, "Well, you know, what I do is <laughs> I turn off all the lights and I sit on the floor, and then I just imagine things." It's like, "Well, all right, that's one way to do it." But it was very it's called sensory for me. deprivation, like yep. a float tank. I, I you know? know. I know. That's. I want to go to a float tank soon. That it was very freeing for me to realize, Kev, you're this is all in your head. Like you have to get home by seven o'clock if you're gonna get everything done. What if you just stayed here for 15 minutes and got six more things done? That was really what it was for me is 
you were doing this at one point at a very high level and it was helping you a ton. It worked so well. Then I stopped going to that gym and the habit got broken. Literally, I broke one habit of driving 15 minutes. Everything else got jeffed because everything got thrown off. So Good. I was just going to say, my. I know you had the question that you asked. This is my thought. How do you start, and it's going to sound very stupid when I say this, honestly, but how do you start habit stacking? And then how do you, how do you turn that habit stacking into a habit? <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. This is good. Uh, you believe this is our job? I, it's the best. It's alarming. But it's also comes with a lot of challenging things yeah, behind the scenes. This is my favorite part, though. This is my favorite part. Recording episodes? So, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Ah, uh, coaching. Coaching. I like taking For Sundays me, off. Coaching is more stressful, but it's more meaningful. Taking Sundays off is my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> Lately, you it's I, been... You knew I didn't hear you. Yeah, no, I had to say it again. I want to yeah, make sure the listeners got to maybe, hopefully, a little giggle. Uh, for some it's, reason... You and I have done very serious episodes today, and then it's like this one's like we're gonna be giggly, I guess. Uh, which is the fun, the fun ones. I think the giggly ones are the most fun Same. and the least valuable. Definitely. I'm joking. So, when you did four months in a row or three months in a row, I think it was like three and a half. I round up, so four wow. months in a row of not missing at all on your PPT. You had at least twenty four, twenty five habits back then, and you never missed. You were definitely doing this. Is that true? you yeah, were probably. doing how were you pulling that off that's my question is like no because I, I, I remember it you didn't even make it look that difficult i remember you saying you actually got cocky at one oh, point yeah, like, i don't I think i'll forever. ever miss again yeah yeah um, you know what it was i had a fire morning routine that was it i don't remember yeah. exactly what it was but it was i was very 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 consistent with my morning routine yeah that's it game changer morning it's, routine changes it's everything. everything yeah it's everything it's everything anyone even when i've denied that i was wrong the morning routine is so critical. It's so critical. There's only two things you can really control. The, the first thing you do in the morning and the last thing you go do before bed. I had a day the other day, and I'm sorry I interrupted you again. I'm interrupting you a lot. No, it's all right. I'm fired up. I had a day the other day where I, I, don't know, I was supposed to have a call with you from like 10 to 11, and I wasn't supposed to have another call till 1, and you and I ended up going late, and I couldn't mm. go to the gym. It's like, oh, you know, business. Obviously, I'm not going to say, hey, man, I got to... But anytime you get into the flow of your day, oftentimes you lose control of time. So definitely the morning routine, I would argue is even more important than the nighttime routine. Although they're, they're both critical when it comes to habits, the book ends, that's what this is called. The book ends of your day need to be sound and it needs to be, Simple enough to where you can actually do it, but complex enough to where your brain registers it as important. When I was writing consistently, and I've I've got that's one thing that I'll share with the listeners, just because I want to be honest. I'm real, I'm four hundred, like four hundred and twenty five or something days in a row. I forget it's on my tracker. Four hundred and twenty something days in a row of exercise, thirty minutes of exercise. And most of my weight training lately has been 45 minutes. But like writing consistently is like the bane of my existence. I, I cannot seem to do it. I've been I've been trying to write consistently for honestly, I want to say I want to say eight years. It's I've been talking about writing consistently for probably eight years. I've been trying really hard to actually do it for at least two, and I've never been able to be consistent for more than like two weeks. And the only time I've ever been able to do it is when I did it first thing, mm -hmm. meaning before I touch my phone, like that's the only way I've ever been able to do it. As a matter of fact, it was on my remarkable because on my remarkable, the cool thing about the remarkable, it's, it's like a digital notepad for those of you who don't know what a remarkable is. Um, Kevin's wife, Taryn, it was her idea, right? Yeah. She said, Hey, is there, there's this really cool thing. That's like a digital notebook that you can yeah, write it. And I was like, all right, I'll dig it. And so I got one for Emilia. I got one. Taryn's got one. None it's, for the kid. Kev does not have one. Best part about it is that it doesn't have anything else on it. There's no other apps. There's no there's no distractions. It's a it's a distractionless device. And that's the only time I've ever been able to write 14 days in a row is when I 
used the remarkable and it had to be first thing in the morning. So I believe, and I will say this as someone who studied peak performance for in some ways my whole life, but at least for the last eight years, your morning routine is absolutely critical if you want to be the most productive that you can be. Last question. Where can you create more time? A simple question, but again, I know my my mind is weird with that, but that's that was literally my thought is I can go home and struggle through these habits or I can jump on the treadmill and just hammer them out. Win, 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 win. So that would be my question to end. This is going to be weird. No, it's not going to be weird. I have had many coaches. Last time on stage when you said that to me, yeah, you asked me to take my shirt that's off. That's not true. That's not true. I said, <laughs> I looked at the footage the other day. Oh, man. I said that something was along hilarious. the lines. Of, I have a uh, there's some. I want to do something. I didn't talk to you about Alan. Is that cool with you? And you said, yeah, yeah. And then I said, take off your shirt. <laughs> I said, <it> up <laughs> everyone nicely. was laughing. So it was. It was good. I almost did it. It's like okay, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is really what I wanted to say. I have had uh, many coaches in my day. Some coaches have had net worths of hundreds of millions of dollars. Some are high-level business executives. They're all very, very successful. But the coach I learned the most from is the man across the screen from me, technically to my right, Alan Lazarus. So if you are looking for somebody to help you get better, faster, more aligned results out of your life, I would give Alan a shot. And here's the other thing too. It's going to be drastically cheaper than you think. It's going to be drastically cheaper than it should be. So that's a that's a win win win. Thank you, brother. You're very well. Appreciate that. Of course, appreciate that. Uh, also, if you cannot afford one on one coaching, we do have something called group coaching that you've heard much about. So group ten is off to the races. We actually have session two tomorrow. If you want to be a part of group eleven, I I wrote on my remarkable actually uh, that I was supposed to read this. So let me just read this real read quick. Read it off. The purpose of group coaching is. And I quote, to guide and support a team of 10 like-minded individuals through a holistic 90-day transformational experience. So I want you to think about an extreme makeover show. And they they redo your hair and they redo your makeup and they redo your, your wardrobe and they redo your fitness. Maybe they get you in the gym, whatever, whatever, whatever. This is supposed to be 90 days of like a makeover holistically for your life, health, wealth, and love. I hope that you join us for group 11. It is starting at the beginning of Q3. Do you know the date by any chance? I don't off the top of my head. Uh, no, okay. it's the week after, I think it's the 11th of July. I think that's that does reign true. Either way, the link, <laughs> <laughs> but Just does, the it pulls that, true. That does <laughs> reign true. true. <laughs> it does it ring true, ring, not rain, ring. Oh, I thought you said ring. It, I did say oh, rain. Okay. Yeah, I, I jeffed. So that does ring true for me. That rains true for me. Uh, the link will be in the show notes. At very least, please give the the video a listen. The video, Kevin and I really articulated exactly what group coaching is very well. That was very scripted. You can tell we're scripted in it. We're just reading off of, because we want to communicate as effectively as possible the value of this program. It is a well-polished product at this point. Click the link in the show notes, check it out, and uh, we hope to have you in group 11. <laughs> Uh, ring rain who knows who knows either next way. level either way next level nation tomorrow for episode number 1321 what does looking stupid mean to you i had a couple bouts of this over the weekend where i was like questioning myself at a deep level and that hasn't happened in a in a while so i'm excited to i guess that I'm, rains true for me it rains true <laughs> i don't know if I, I would say i'm super excited to talk about it but i know it'll be of value so it is a line for me to talk about. As always, we love you. We appreciate you. Grateful for each and every one of you. And at NLU, we do not have fans. We have family. We will talk to you all tomorrow. Stack Dem Habits. Next level nation. <laughs>